Today, Alistair Hewitt visited Roy Tolkien to discuss his views and opinions towards the Lord of the Rings trilogy based upon the work of his great-grandfather. When you first read the books when you were young, you must have built up images in your mind of what you thought the characters and Middle-earth would have looked like. How did these differ from that of Peter Jackson's version in the films? Um, I think Peter had a really difficult task of converting what people thought was the characters from the book into the film. And he's never going to make it exactly right because everyone's going to have a different opinion. If you think about the film now and you're watching the film, um, you don't actually, you couldn't imagine Gandalf being anyone else other than Suri McAllen or uh, Viggo Mortensen being anyone else other than who he is, you know. So I think saying that, he nailed it and I think he did a really good job of it. You grew up on a farm near Mould when Lord of the Rings enthusiasts would gather annually to enact scenes from your great grandfather's storylines. What was this like? <laughs> what do you think it would be like? <laughs> no, it was actually it was quite cool because um, it, it happened when I was a kid. And it would be every summer this society called, called the Tolkien Society would come up and stay at the farm in Holkin. But they would come as different characters. There was, um, there was a Gandalf character there and he would bring fireworks with him and so you know you'd have a big bonfire and like fireworks displays and as a kid I used to try and nick all the cider they'd be drinking and nick all the fireworks so on that side it was, uh, it was fun, it was a good thing to do. You were invited to the set of Lord of the Rings in New Zealand whilst there you were invited to play the part of a Gondorian ranger in the third film, Return of the King. What was this like? It was uh, amazing, I, um, I went over there, uh, it was uh, July 2003 I think but uh, Peter kind of was bouncing the idea around about throwing me in a costume and he kind of does that anyway, he likes to put people as cameo appearances in the film. It was a, a particular day, got up really early, um, got a costume fitted, had Aragorn's wig put on, bit of makeup and stuff and just spent the whole day in Osculith ruins um, shooting a scene where Faramir is uh, fleeing from the orcs that are just about to attack and, and it was the craziest, weirdest, most amazing day that I can ever say that I've ever had on set. After the shoot in New Zealand you attended premieres all around the world. Is there a particular highlight that you can remember? It was probably the premiere in New Zealand the, of Return of the King. It started off in New Zealand. I went to seven different countries. Just everyone, like the entire population of New Zealand turned out for it in Wellington and it was just, there was hundreds of thousands of people everywhere. It was just people were hanging off trees and it's like spilling out of buildings. It was the most amazing experience. There's been rumours that The Hobbit, often seen as a prelude to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, is going to be made into a film. Have you heard any news of this? I'm pretty sure it'll get done. I'm actually meeting uh, in a week's time Mark Odesky from New Line, who, who was a producer on Lord of the Rings, and I'm going to bend his ear then. I'll find out. I don't know if I can tell anyone, but I'll find out then. <laughs> but it'd be brilliant. Okay, right, thanks for your time. Hey, nice to meet you.